Creating a multiplayer game for mixed reality or virtual reality has never been this simple. You will be able to create one in just a few clicks where the avatars, voice, lips and the virtual objects are synced. In today's video, I'll show you how to create this experience using Photon's Fusion SDK, Meta XR All-in-One SDK and the Meta Avatar SDK. Now this setup will work for local multiplayer games as well with some additional steps which I'll talk about at the end. So let's get started. There are three prerequisites that you'll have to meet. First is to visit the photonengine.com and sign into your account. Then click on dashboard and create a new app. Here you can select the appropriate application type. Select Fusion SDK, make sure it's version 2. Give your application a name and click on create. Then to use the voice SDK, click on create an app once again. This time select the voice SDK, give your application a name and click on create. So here on my dashboard, these are the two apps that I just created. Select the app ID and save it somewhere so that you can refer to it later on. Second is to visit developer.oculus.com. Log into your account and click on my apps. Here you need to create an organization. You can give your organization a name. It's okay if you don't have one, you can just give your name. Click on I understand and submit. Once that's done, click on my apps, create new app, give your app a name. Select the MetaQuest app lab as your platform and click on create. Then in your left side window, scroll down till you find the API tab. Click on it, copy the app ID and save it somewhere so that you can refer to it later on. The third and final requirement is for you to have a Unity project which has been set up with the latest MetaXR all-in-one SDK which is version 65 right now. And it should also be set up with all the project settings so that it works seamlessly on your headset. Now you can get this project from the GitHub link in the description below or if you want to know how to set it up from scratch you can check out this video over here. Now creating a multiplayer experience requires some additional packages and the first package that we need is Photons Fusion. To get that you need to visit Unity's asset store, search for Photon Fusion, add it to your assets, open in your Unity editor and import it. Once that's done, we can add our second package by clicking on the plus icon, add package by name and type in com .meta.xr.sdk.avatars and click on add. Now this will install the latest version of Meta Avatar SDK and you'll also get a pop-up asking if you'd like to download the samples, click on yes. And this will import the Meta Avatars SDK sample assets which is really helpful in cases where the user has not set their own Meta Avatars. In such cases, it's going to fall back to the sample avatars that comes along with this package. Now I almost forgot that we need the Photon's voice SDK as well and you can get that by going inside the Unity's asset store, search for Photon Voice 2, add it into your Unity, open in your editor and import it. Now just to keep you informed, we'll be using the building block feature to create this multiplayer experience and that requires us to import the Meta XR Interaction SDK OVR integration package and the Meta XR Platform SDK. But if you have installed the MetaXR all-in-one SDK, they get installed automatically and you don't have to worry about it. With that, we have all the packages that we need. Now to set up the project for multiplayer, inside your project window, inside assets, select Photon, Fusion, Resources, Photon App Settings and here you need to add the app ID for Fusion and the app ID for Voice. Then click on Oculus, Tools. Meta account setup guide and you need to paste your Meta app ID over here and click on set. And now to set up our scene for multiplayer, all you need to do is click on Oculus tools building blocks, select camera rig, add controller tracking, add hand tracking. Now for debugging purpose, you can add your uh, virtual hands. However, later on you can replace it with your real hands. So let's go ahead and add the virtual hands. Next click on the multiplayer tab and add auto matchmaking. From implementation, you can select Photon Fusion and click on Confirm. Next, add Co-location, add Network Avatars. Let's add a Network Grabbable object. Here, you can uncheck Gravity for now and click on Confirm. And let's add the Player Voice Chat as well. And then close this window, select the cube, bring it slightly forward and slightly up here like this. Save your scene and I swear that's it. Now, all you need to do is connect your headset, go to File, Build Settings, add the open scene, click on build and run, give your APK a name and click on save. Once the build is successful, put on your headset, allow the access for your spatial data and wait for it. And then it will ask you to access your microphone. So let's allow that. And finally, you will be able to see the cube and your avatar as well. Now to test this, if it actually works in a multiplayer game, 
You can go back to your Unity project, go to Tools, select Oculus Meta XR Simulator, click on Activate and press the play button and then go back inside your headset and in here you will be able to see your uh, simulator and on the unit editor you will be able to see yourself and if i grab this cube and move around you can see that it's moving there which means the multiplayer is working and the best part is that this has lip sync and it's really amazing to see how well it does in real time now to make this experience better you can go inside unity's asset store search for volumetric lines open it in unity and import it. Now, while this gets imported, you can go ahead and download a 3D asset for your lightsaber. I'm using this particular model. I will leave a link for this in the description. Once you have the models imported, you can go ahead and set it up by selecting the model, select material, click on extract materials, select your folder, select the material and add the respective textures to it. Once that's done, you can add this to your scene and maybe scale it down slightly. Then you can go back inside the asset folder, volumetric lines, build in render pipeline prefabs select single line lightsaber and add it inside this 3d object this is obviously too big you can scale it down and you can also reposition it so that this looks like a lightsaber once you're happy with your asset you can right click on it select interaction sdk click on add grab interaction here you can select the interactors as both hands and controllers you can select the grab type as pinch palm and if you want, you can generate the collider. Now, since this does not have a collider, I'd like to generate it. And it does not have a rigid body. So let's add it by clicking on fix all. And I want to make sure that the gravity is unchecked and is kinematic is on. Then you can click on create. This makes sure that you can grab the lightsaber. Then you can select the model, duplicate it and move it slightly forward here like this. And let's go ahead and change the saber color from blue to red. Then select the building blocks cube, delete it. Then select Oculus tools building blocks. Inside the multiplayer tab, we have the network grabbable objects. You can select it and drag and drop it inside the first lightsaber. Here you'll get a pop-up asking if you want to use gravity. Make sure to uncheck it and click on confirm and do the same for the second lightsaber as well. Now doing this would have added all the required components to make this network. And now you can save your scene go to file build settings build it once again and then we'll test it out once you have the build ready you can test it once again using the simulator or you can share the app with your friends and test it in real time now you can make this project cooler by adding trail effects particle effects and sound effects now if you want to convert this into a vr application all you need to do is select the pass through disable it select your camera rig Go inside tracking space, center eye anchor, change it from solid color to skybox and add your virtual environment. Now, if you're trying to build a VR multiplayer game like this, then you need to follow the same steps as before. And there are some additional steps like creating test users, uploading your app to the release channel at least once and allowing your headset to share the point cloud data. Now, if you're not sure how to do it, don't worry. I will leave a link for that somewhere on this page. All right. So that's it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.